Hi guys, this is Fee. Diamond in the rough and I thought I needed to do a video and a whip and chat. I actually started to diamond paint and I thought what a perfect opportunity. How was your Christmas? Pop down what you did for Christmas. Pop down something in the comments about what you did for Christmas, what made it special. Um, because I'm about to share with you my Christmas, um, the good and the bad. <laughs> yes, there was bad, but all the bad happened before Christmas. Um, but yeah, I tell me what happened in your Christmas. Give me something that special happened in your Christmas. Uh, for me, my eldest boy came up uh, came to Perth for Christmas. So he's come up from. Uh, Esperance, him and his wife, so him and my daughter-in-law, and yeah, so that's some good news that happened at Christmas time. My younger son actually drove down to Esperance and they picked them up and brought them back up, and I will be driving them back down to Esperance. So that's it's about seven hundred kilometres from here, um, but I'll drive down and. Um, one day I'll have a full day there and then I'll drive back the next day. Um, um, but while I'm there I'll catch up with some old friends that I haven't seen for quite a while. And obviously I'll see my mum and my stepdad. Um, waffle along, lost it all over the place already. <laughs> rambling. So yes, this will be a rambling whip and chat as I bounce through a couple of different conversations and things that happened. Um, before Christmas, I will say, I was, um, I was put on antidepressants, so I have, for those of you that aren't aware, I have a mental illness, I am bipolar, so every now and then I have to go on to, I will say every now and then, that's really funny, every now and then I have to go on to antidepressants to stop me from seeking to, dropping right down into um, a major, major depression. Um, for, and I won't belittle anybody at all because everybody's, everybody that goes into depression goes through their own thing. Um, but for someone that has bipolar, when you go through depression or mania, um, it hits really hard. Uh, and I'm not saying someone that n is getting depression, normal depression, uh, it doesn't hit them in any less than what mine is. Um, but what I can say for uh, someone with bipolar, our emotions kind of can be very strong. And when you are happy, so we've got a Basically, our moods are like this. But when someone's bipolar they're, and they're happy, they're in a mania, it goes really high, but in a depression, it goes really low and it's got to be right up to normal. So I we identified that I was in depression and I've had to be put on some, medic, new, some medication, which has actually made me sleep. I've got a lot of sleeping done in the last two weeks. Um, and I uh, haven't been able to do much in the way of recording. One part, because I've been catching up and getting better, working on getting better, and the other side is because I've had family here who obviously will be here for a little bit longer. So this won't be some any videos coming out from me for another, I suppose, one and a half weeks I think uh, maybe even two weeks before we get another video so keep stay tuned make sure that if you're subscribed you hit the bell because then you'll get notified when my next video does actually come uh, get out um, so yeah uh, that's the, the depression side of things but um, with me because I'll go on to antidepressants if I am on them for too long it will actually send me up into a aspiring into mania 
So uh, I have to be very careful that uh, I watch when I come off that I, I don't stay on them too long. Uh, but yeah. So I have had to look at what I've been doing that can cause depression and one of those things is the fact that I haven't been sleeping properly because I've been sitting up till one two o'clock in the morning on my days off um, trying to catch up and watch lives of people that are actually on a totally different time zone to me so yeah I've um, had to stop watching a lot of YouTube or, or well I wouldn't say w watching a lot of YouTube but I just can't attend some of the lo a lot of the lives that are on because I have to be aware of how much they those lives are actually sleep affecting my sleep yeah anyway Christmas ask you guys what's special and as I said I had my my son come up from Esperance um, so what did I do Christmas Day? I thought I'd share that with you guys so you know what it's like in... Well, mine was not a normal Australian Australian Christmas um, because we actually sat down and had a big roast dinner. But I was spoilt for Christmas um, because I, I actually came home off a night shift so I got home around about seven o'clock in the morning had um, bacon and egg wraps for breakfast which is a, a Christmas thing I do uh, so it's just bacon and egg with cheese and barbecue sauce and put into a toaster uh, the plan was was for me to actually cook it however my youngest son loves to cook and he ended up cooking it I don't think I did much except for buying all the food for it so I was really really lucky um, so we did uh, Christmas actually before he turned up my we did my son and his wife and obviously with Nathan and I we did our Christmas present giving um, I What did I give? Uh, my my boys, I gave both of my boys um, resin serving boards. So I didn't film the making of those because that was just I wasn't up for filming. But I'd made uh, resin serving platters for my boys in the colours that they chose. So before Christmas, I turned around and said, "What colours do you want on a serving board?" and yeah they chose their colors and I made that made them for them to use um, so yeah my my son and his wife my son and daughter-in-law um, they unwrapped theirs and although they'd seen them and seen the colors and Jazz had actually seen seen it poured um, it comes out slightly differently once it's dry and set because obviously it it moves around the resin colors move around and um, the response was it came out better than they expected which is absolutely excellent <laughs> um, yeah they were very surprised at it um, yeah I did uh, So yeah, we did our gift giving. I got Nathan just a, a Bluetooth speakers because when we go camping, um, he's just been playing music off of his phone <laughs> and it just doesn't sound good. So I got him waterproof Bluetooth speakers, so waterproof and float so that... Um, if he decides to go fishing he can take it with him and it gets wet or it goes overboard it will float and it will be fine to continue to be used um, which he was wrapped with uh, my 
my eldest boy and my daughter-in-law gave me a gift voucher for Pandora um, which is obviously you guys have seen my charm which I actually haven't told much of a story about but my bracelet is a 100% Pandora charms um, so they gave me a voucher for that and Nathan actually brought me a new Pandora bracelet with a charm on it um, so yeah with that Nathan brought me hang on we will show you <laughs> hang on here we go this is where I'm really sharing this he got me actually we need to go that way is it going to focus hang on guys let's see if I can get this to okay so he got me this charm so that's the clasp but then he got me charm with the world on it uh, oh gosh it's not focusing on it so that's what he got me and then with what my kids got me as a um, gift voucher let's see if I can get this to show I got the hanging shamrock there we go can I focus on it there we go and that just comes off so yeah um, so that's a little bit that's a little bit of what I got I was I was spoiled I got some beautiful stuff for Christmas um, <laughs> Uh, yeah so um, Christmas Day so we did the presents and then Dion came around so my youngest boy came around uh, with his girlfriend and we did more gift giving uh, and I gave her Elsa framed so you guys have seen Elsa and she knew she was getting it um, I frame, when I framed that I didn't do I was going to do a video for it but I didn't do a video for it because she watches my YouTube channel so um, she knew that she was getting Elsa uh, but I just couldn't do the framing on camera because I just had to keep that all under wraps so then she could at least get a little bit of a surprise um, and yeah she seemed to like it uh, she said I know where that's going and she goes we're taking down such and such a picture and this is going in its place it's like okay she definitely likes it um, so that also was from well obviously Die Moon Shop huh. um, yeah so Christmas was presents was done and that's when my I kind of got really tired <laughs> Um, and my son who loves to cook my youngest one who loves to cook he actually cooked breakfast he did, cooked up the bacon and he did the eggs and we all made our own wraps but he cooked those parts out um, I did help <laughs> but he did the majority of the work so which was yeah which is really good um, so we did that and I stayed up for as long as I could um, one stage Dion's girlfriend went home because they had their dog and their dog wasn't well uh, however Dion stayed Dion was supposed to go um, to his girlfriend's family for Christmas lunch but something happened won't get into that and uh, he ended up staying so I left the kids it's funny kids they're 24 25 I left the kids um, playing Nintendo games on the computer um, because that's what they gave the gifts that were given they gave they gave one of them got uh, a Nintendo game um, but they spent they got on the computer on the TV and started playing the games and uh, I went to bed and said I'll see you guys when I wake up um, I didn't put a set of time 
when I come off night shift, I generally just go to bed as soon as I'm tired and then I get up when I'm ready to get up. Um, but yeah, so gone to bed and I've gotten up to discover that my both my boys are still there. <laughs> mm. And so we spent Christmas Day uh, with me sleeping, but yeah, just Christmas Day where Nathan went went into the front room and lied on the couch and didn't do much. I think he made phone calls to his family and all of that because they're all over on the east. Um, but yeah, he made those phone calls and wished everybody in his family Merry Christmas. Um, I made my phone calls in the morning. Um, but yeah, I think we just spent the day catching up and chatting and uh, and the boys playing games and wasn't really much fancy stuff going on. Um, was at one point there, uh, at the, they fed themselves lunch with whatever was in the fridge. Um, you know, I did have ham and all of that for Christmas. Um, but we just we turned around and said it was it was close to dinner time, and then Dion started cooking. So, because. I knew that I was coming, because I was coming off night shift, I'd actually organised for Dion to cook dinner and I would just help. Um, and I brought the majority of the food for it. I think he just brought the pork belly because he knew exactly what he wanted. <clears throat> but he cooked Christmas dinner for us. Um, we ended up having... While that was cooking, I, we did have our prawns as a snack while he was cooking. Um, what else? I think that's about it. And we had a sit-down dinner, which is really nice to have. But that was it for our Christmas. Uh, Dion stayed for quite a few more hours and then eventually went home. Um, and it was a good day to have the family like that. So what did you guys do for Christmas? What was special about your Christmas day? Share it with me. Um, uh, share away. Let me know what you did for Christmas. Did you have family? Did you go to somebody else's family? Um, I think when I did the Christmas premiere, I talked about what happens here for Christmas, what I've done for previous Christmases. Um, yeah. Which has always been some, well, not always, but most of the time we do something different every year because family circumstances are always changing. Last year we went to Sydney. I think the year before, year before that, we are, uh, the year before that was actually, um, that was a hard year, that one, that the Christmas was hard, um, due to, um, yeah, events within the family. Hmm. So what are the plans going forward? Plans going forward. One is I need to get better. Uh, I do have a few projects that I need to get done. I will be doing a review on this. So if you see up in the corner, just so you know, this is my second Victoria's Moon. This is the four panel. Make a wish. Uh, and I've nearly done, so the review will be out on this and I need to frame it. Today is the 29th of December. And Nathan hung pictures for me. Um, so I got three pictures up on the wall. Uh, one of them is my first custom picture, which is 
uh, what I call my Durban, it finally got hung up. Uh, my leopard, my South African leopard, that was hung up and directly behind where I'm sitting, Girl by Carousel has been put up. So I'll pop pictures in here of them up on the wall so you get this get a really good effect of what they look like. Now these are the first ones that I have had hung in my place where I live, my own home. And I'm wrapped. I didn't expect to be have the feeling that I had when they were put up on the wall. It's like, you know, that's, that's some of my art up on the wall. I've been like, because we're in our own, ho our own home, because um, we built this house two years ago, uh, we haven't finished, we have to repaint the walls and we haven't done that. So I wasn't eager for anything to go up on the walls. Uh, until that was done. I've been doing the work, but I just haven't had anything that I want to put up because we're going to have to repaint the walls. But I think Nathan was aware that I needed some cheering up and it was just time we put something up on the walls because our walls are pretty plain. Um, and sound is horrible because there's nothing um, stopping the echo. So you put those up for me. Yay. Uh, so he's now looking at all the other stuff, all the other diamond paintings I've done, and he's going, well, where can we put this? Where can we put that? Uh, however, I'm not putting any more up until I get my three cats done because... Um, he doesn't know about them yet. <laughs> well, he doesn't know what I've got moustache. Well, we kind of saw some of moustache today. Um, but yeah, he he doesn't know about those three and where I want them put. So uh, until they're done and I go turn around and say, this is where I want these, he, um, I don't want to put anything else up. Uh, yeah. Just because he might turn around and go oh we'll put this one there and I'm it's like oh no because I got something else for that but that that's a bit special that one um yeah my stash that's something yeah so that's I've got a couple of projects coming up that I'm working on one of them is I tried out and in I think one of my lives you guys got a snippet of a diamond painting on a cushion and that's not uh, one that I brought as a cushion it was a diamond painting that I did that I put onto a cushion uh, without sewing so there's an I've got a no sew option of putting a diamond painting onto a, creating a cushion out of a diamond painting so I have two pictures that I plan to put onto cushions or turn into cushions so there's some work that's coming up uh, I have had some requests for uh, some drill trays um, I've had some people have seen my big drill trays ie this one <laughs> um, that is magnetized so there's a mag there's a magnet under there that is a magnet as well but there's that one and it's, um, yeah, I've stopped knocking over drill trays <laughs> since I've done this, had this. Um, yeah. So there will be some more resin work where I pour some resin, some resin trays with magnets in them. I did do one, t well, I've done, I've done one to order. Um, hopefully that's arrived say well actually I know it hasn't arrived yet because uh, I track I track the postage um, the ones that are within Australia I'm able to track those without any problems 
so uh, hopefully that will arrive this week and we'll see how that goes it's first time I've packaged trays up just in their own packaging so um, yeah if I know it makes it safely there um, it's great um, so yeah there'll be more resin trays coming up more resin work happening um, but I will do some made to order resin stuff so if you're watching this and you want to order anything from me um, there's two ways to go get onto the Facebook page and message me via my Facebook page via the group or my messenger um, not my personal one go with diamond in the rough so that then you I, I track it in the right spot and um, yeah go from there there's a just or, or email me and I will see what I can do oh excuse me I am um, Next lot of videos, next time I do videos, it will be, hang on, what am I looking at? So today's the 29th. Um, you might not see anything else coming from me until the middle of January. So probably two to three weeks away before I do any more videos. Uh, I've just one I've got to go away uh, two obviously I'm still trying to get better um, and I just can't put myself under the pressure of although I will say making the videos aren't isn't too bad <laughs> um, I lose it's more just the time it takes to edit so I don't copy and paste or cut much of, out of my videos but I do turn around and speed sections up and I do spend some time on the beginning and endings of my videos so they do take time so um, and concentration and I will admit that at the moment my concentration span isn't actually that high <laughs> um, but yeah I've got to go down I've got to go away for a few days which is obviously in between me being at work but, uh, yeah I thought I'd just come on let you know things that are coming up uh, so more resin work I will be doing some cushions uh, no so cushions uh, I have obviously some more I only have one diamond painting on order which is coming from diamond shop um, Oops, did I get that right? Yeah, no, that was right. Um, but I've I've slowed. Oh, I haven't slowed down. Uh, well, yes, I have. I suppose I've slowed down in the diamond painting space, but I've slowed down in everything. I've had to slow down because I haven't been well. Um, and I will say I'm struggling to find anything I like on any of the other diamond painting sites I what else Victoria's Moon which is what I'm working on here um, there's a lot of color by numbers coming out now by for Victoria's Moon I actually had like everybody else I was approached by Victoria's Moon to do a color by numbers um, I've done some color by numbers and although it was enjoyable I just it's not something that I want to record or discuss um, so I turned around and said no thank you um, I wasn't going to do any any of their color by numbers who else it's really funny I, I've actually you know, it's really great when a company contacts you to say you know come and do could you do a review for us um, in Lover Arts, in Lover Arts, I uh, was contacted by them, and there's, I've seen a few videos out from for them. 
Um, I looked at their diamond paintings and there wasn't a big enough for, their, for me, there wasn't a big enough choice. Um, I, For me, I like to do something that isn't done by many others and In Love Arts just didn't have a wide range of diamond paintings. Um, they had some very nice ones, but they didn't have a wide range. Uh, and the way they did it, um, yeah, they give you a... You turn around and say what you want. They'll, they'll actually give you a voucher for a certain amount and then you use that code and if you want to do something bigger, you've got to pay the difference. As you guys are aware, I don't, <laughs> I don't do little diamond paintings. So for me, it was going to cost more to actually purchase and do a review. And quite frankly, for me, they didn't have much of a choice. So uh, I'm not going to turn around with a company and do a review on something, you know, unbox and review and check it out and do it and share it with you guys. When one, I can't get a big size, they're not going to give me a full size, a big size, which is in line with what I do. And if there's not much of a choice, to me, it's not worth it because... Yeah, to me, it just wasn't worth it. And then I saw other people doing uh, unboxings and reviews for them. And I believe that there's, I think there's enough people out there doing the reviews that I reckon it's fantastic. That there's enough people that probably there'll be a wide view, wide variety of opinions on um, In Love Arts. So, yeah. Um, I think that's it for the whys. Just have a quick look. So, oh no, that's not one. Okay. Alrighty, all. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you might find that I'll probably do more. Well, I mean, I'm I'm struggling to want to do anything. Hang on, eleven. I'm after. Yep, seven. Um, yeah, I'm struggling to find diamond painting companies that I'd use uh, because of the huge thing with copyright if that makes if you guys understand that side of things I myself personally like my own artwork my own photography um, but I don't like uh, I suppose dealing with having to actually go through have a look at a company and then look at find a picture I like and then turn around and have to do a reverse search on it and dig through because I don't know if that company is doing the right thing by artists or not so yeah if so we'll see how we go I might I'm still trying to work out whether I go ahead and purchase keep going on with um customs or what I do so there's a lot more that I want to do with diamond painting but I just want to be careful with what companies I deal with because I don't want to have to deal with copyright stuff um, you will see that uh, Royal Diamond Painting the diamond paintings I've got two from there and I did have somebody point out that it was by another artist um, and the artist wasn't getting recognized and, you know, I would love to still want to know who the artist was that did Anubis so that I can recognise them um, and put their name on the stuff that I've already uploaded to do with that. Uh, however, the Anubis, I do have been working on it and I'm working on the Anubis where you actually don't see much of the picture but it's more 
my whipping chats for the trip to Egypt. Um, but yeah, see how we go. Uh, you know, I might find that I might find some images on diamond painting companies that I like, and I find out they are just standard stock images. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not quite sure. But there's lots more diamond painting to go. I've got, yeah, um, lots to share with you in that way. But I'm going to try, <laughs> I've got a high ratio of diamond shop diamond paintings now. Um, so, yeah, you'll see me working on those. But I think that'll be more whipping chats. Um, yeah. So I suppose, oh, what are we at? 40, 40 minutes in. What else can I talk about? What else is there happening? Ah, Universal Yums. So I've got two more months of Universal Yums. And I'm actually not quite sure whether I continue on. So... Don't put it in the comments. I'm going to pop a survey question, if, you, if you've gotten this far, that is. Um, answer the question whether you would like me to continue on with doing the universal yums or not. Uh, I have been looking at the fact that it's not getting that much in the way of views. So is it worth continuing on? And I know some of you ladies love seeing the expressions on my face. Um... Do I continue on or do I not? Do I do another six months um, and see how that goes? Um, yeah. I actually am contemplating roping in my son to join me on them, but I don't know whether he'd show his face on camera. <laughs> yeah, I'll see what I can do. See if he's interested anyway. Um, yeah, so the universal yums. Let me know in the survey. Would you, do you want me to continue? Do you not want me to continue with that, um, those videos? Because you guys are the ones that watch it. I do it for the fun of it. Some of those foods are really good. Until they put dark chocolate in there. <laughs> um... How's this for a bland colour? You guys can see that I'm just doing the last. I've got the last of dandelion there. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, I don't know. Don't know what else is going on. Uh, I've had, oh God, had more incidents at work, which is kind of hasn't helped me in my cheery disposition. Um... Yeah, quite interesting little events. <laughs> um, but I think I'll leave that there. This is, yeah, not even an hour, 40 minutes. I'll leave that there. But guys, I will actually put a little joke here because it's just appropriate for the for the year that is coming up and I actually had somebody say that it was a dad joke but I don't care that it's a dad joke because I reckon it's really funny it suits my sense of humor and it's just a little thing about the future um, guy goes in to a fortune teller and, you know, she's sitting there and she's got, you know, like, you know how the fortune tellers have those big, big glasses and, well, the image of the older style fortune tellers with the crazy hair and the glasses and, and all of that. Um, so this guy goes into her and says, I want you to tell me my future. I want you to tell me what's going to happen next year. And she turned around and she looked at him and she said, sir, you can keep your money. I can't tell you what's going to happen next year. And you, you know, it's like 
all sightseers, all that tell the future, you know, they're eager. Most of them are eager to get your money. But th this guy's turned around and said, but you guys always see the future. You guys can always always tell us what's going to happen in the future. And she turns around and takes her glasses off and she hands them to him. And she's, she hands them, no, she waves, them, waves her glasses at him. And she says, see these, sir? And he goes, yes. She goes, I don't have 20-20 vision, so I can't tell you what's going to happen next year. <laughs> I hope you like that joke. I hope I don't need to explain that joke. But, yeah, um, I absolutely love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's, it sense, suits my sense of humour. So, guys, I will say thank you for watching and listening to me um, I am sorry that I haven't been putting out much in the way of videos and there will be another two to three weeks before another one comes out um, but yeah leave me a comment let me know what you did for Christmas um, hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell on the way out so that you'll get notified when I do my next video, which will be a little while away, but it is, it will be um, something to, to see. So guys, thank you for watching and bye for now.